On the web, information for a species is presented through the species summary page in FishBase and SeaLifeBase. Let's dive into its key sections and learn how to access various information about a particular species. On your browser, call the species search page using either www.fishbase.org for fishes or www.sealifebase.org for non-fishes. You can do a species search using either the common name or the scientific name. Type the common name in the common name field, for instance, tuna or sea turtle. Then click search. A list of results matching your query will be displayed. Look for your species of interest and click on its name. Alternatively, if you know the scientific name, type it in the genus and species fields or the genus plus species field. In our example, we type tunis thinnis in fishbase and chelonia mitas in sea life base, then click search. This returns the corresponding species summary page. This page provides a comprehensive overview of the fish species in terms of taxonomy, environment, distribution, morphology, biology, life history, and more. Now, let's take a closer look at its key sections. At the top of the page, you'll find the scientific and common names of the species, along with its taxonomy. This information helps you identify the specific fish species you're interested in. FishBase also provides species photos and illustrations that can assist in accurate species identification, especially for non-experts. AquaMaps is also integrated in FishBase, which can be used for species distribution analysis, habitat suitability, climate change impact assessments, and fisheries management. Scrolling down, you'll see a section dedicated to the environment and ecology with information on the habitat, depth range and climate zone where a species is found. Followed by the section on a species geographic distribution, with information on countries, FAO areas and ecosystems where they occur, as well as access to geo-referenced species data, and the section on length, weight, and age of the species. Moving further down, we come to the section with a short description on the moristics, morphology, and morphometrics of the species. This is followed by the section on the biology of the species, and the section on life cycle and behavior, including information on maturity reproduction and spawning. Identification of species, scientific research, conservation efforts, fisheries management, and stock assessment all depend on this information. A section on the main reference used for the species is also provided, while other sources of information are likewise referenced throughout the species summary page. Now, let's scroll down and explore the species conservation through human uses sections. Here, you'll find information on a species IUCN Red List conservation and threat status, as well as its evaluation under the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species or CITES and the Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species or CMS. This information can contribute to conservation efforts and help raise awareness about endangered fish species. There is also information on whether a species poses a threat to humans. And a section on human uses, providing information about the species' economic importance to fisheries, aquaculture and game fishing, with links to other sources for production and landing statistics species profiles, and stock assessments. These data are valuable for fisheries management and aquaculture planning. Further down the page, you'll find the More Information section. The listed topics link to data derived from scientific studies such as estimates of maximum size, growth rates, natural mortality, diet, reproduction, population dynamics, and many more. Information is also available by country, ecosystem, and FAO fisheries area. This is followed by the section on tools that includes a biodiversity quiz, an e-book, field guide and identification keys for the species, wizards for length frequency analyses and generating life history parameter estimates. Special reports feature links to other websites, for instance on species fact sheets. There is also an XML facility for downloading species information like the summary page, point data, common names and photos of the species. 
There are also links to other internet resources, which are helpful if you want to learn more about a particular species or explore relevant research articles and publications. Finally, at the bottom of the page is the section on estimates based on models, which includes the mean and range of the preferred temperature of a species, phylogenetic diversity index or uniqueness of a species, Bayesian length weight A and B values based on length weight relationship estimates, trophic level from diet studies, generation time from growth studies, resilience or population doubling time, prior R estimates from stock assessments, Fishing vulnerability or intrinsic extinction vulnerabilities to fishing. Vulnerability to climate change. X vessel price reliability. And micronutrient concentrations from fish nutrient studies. We have just given you a general overview of the fish base and sea life base species summary pages as comprehensive resources for anyone interested in information on fish and non fish species. Up next, we will show you examples of practical as well as advanced uses of these databases.